This is the future. Perhaps the most iconic mechanic in all of Warframe is the illustrious bullet jump, which doesn't come as much of a surprise given the game's evident emphasis on mobility. For those unacquainted with just how fast Warframe is, I recommend checking out our piece on how Warframe's movement outpaces every other game ever made. What was more surprising to me, however, was my recent discovery that the bullet jumping I've grown to love during my time with Digital Extremes Space Ninja game wasn't there at launch, at least not intentionally. Instead, players exploited several movement animations by chaining them together to propel themselves across the map at blistering speed. This was called coptering, and it was very fun to use until Digital Extremes decided to turn it into a feature. Well, not exactly the same coptering. Warframe's bullet jump was essentially co-developed by Digital Extremes and the players who invented coptering. Sure, Digital Extremes was the one to implement the new mechanic, but it was the players who created its first iteration by exploiting what was available to them. It's a remarkable story, really, seven and a half years after launch, Warframe is all about bullet jumping. However, we could be witnessing an immensely different version of the game if Digital Extremes decided to just patch out a bug and move on. As Digital Extremes said, it was a bug that got exploited, and we changed that into the key defining features of Warframe. What does this mean? Eventually, there are chances that bugs in this game, or we should not call it a bug but unexpected features can become permanent in Warframe if many players are exploiting it. Sounds right, right? Not although some exploits are bannable by Digital Extremes especially if you are farming too much and trying to take advantage of the market of the game. Easy farming is bannable in Warframe if they have unexpected features that are exploited. However, there's one thing that has been bothering me for days now. I've made a video about bounty missions being a good rewarding missions in the game because it allows you to farm AEO which you can use to get prime relics for weapons and warframes. Now, there's a certain bug that I uncover in Demo's bounties that I wish to become a feature in the future for a specific warframe. I don't know if this was already in the game for a long time but I was really surprised that Limbo's banish can affect the excavator in Demo's. I was doing the mission solo with my banish mesa. Now, I usually use this build in defense, protecting the operative in either Archon Hunts or Sortie missions and, I was amazed when I aimed at the excavator and cast Banish, it works. This means immortality for the excavator and all I need to do is get some cell to fully power the mechanism and just wait for the time to run out. This could be exploited by using any immortal or stealth frame. Build it for lots of duration that Banish will gain over 60 seconds duration and then, just kill those enemies that holds the cell and begun with it. The question now is, is it worth exploiting? Well, I could see that you can farm a ear for this in the endless excavation mission in Demos but, this would not be the fastest route those excavation mission does follow the usually ABC reward pool which means, you will need to finish up at least 8 excavator to somehow have a chance to gain a ear. Have you tried it in other excavation mission? Yes, I have but it turns out that the bug is only applicable in demos. I have tried it on Hyrak and Pluto, and other excavation but it doesn't seem to work. Now, if we take a look at Limbo's banish ability, it says that once cast, Limbo unleashes a wave of rift energy toward the aiming reticle. Banish's wave envelops a couple meters long area within a truncated cone, which begins with a base of 5 meter radius and a 15 degrees spread angle. All enemies and allies caught in the wave's extent are banished out of Limbo's current plane of existence. If Limbo is in the material plane, only material bound targets will be banished into the rift plane for a couple of seconds. If Limbo is in the rift, then only rift bound targets will return to the material plane. Holding down the ability key, default 1, dispels the banish status on all banished targets at no additional energy cost. There's nothing that said banish any non-living organisms such as mechanical stuff like excavator but, I wish that Digital Extremes could add this feature to somehow make Limbo better. I know it's broken but Eximus units broke Limbo so hard right now since they can damage him while he is in the rift plane. On the other hand, there will be players exploiting banish to their advantage and use it into their favorite Warframe with the help of the Helminth system. I don't know if it's fair, but it would be dope if we can eventually use Banish for defense targets like excavators. This way, we make Limbo better and I think it's not that broken since Eximus units are there to counter Limbo. But then again, I'm only suggesting this for Limbo as it would be super broken when it will be in the Helminth. What do you guys think? 
Would it be dope to make Banish Effects Excavator just for Limbo? Or would it be super broken? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.